Hello, hi, I am GB Solomon and welcome to my channel. This is GB Interactive. How you doing? I'm doing very well myself. Anyways, if you are new to this channel, I want to create a daughter to please subscribe. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share, don't forget to leave me comments as well. And I leave, I always leave my WhatsApp contact in the description below for those of you who might want me to send you notifications via WhatsApp as well. Let's get right into the video. <laughs> I know you've already seen the title so you basically know what this video is about why i'm still single at 26. in this video i'm going to talk about the reasons i'm still single and how i cope with being single and a few nuggets here and there before i start this video is no way an attempt to throw shades at at anyone who is in a very meaningful relationship this video is no way an attempt to um, rubbish people who are in very serious relationships this video is no way to rubbish people who are really having the best time of their lives dating the best people that they can ever meet in this world but this video is about all the same people out there who are struggling some because they are single and they're not finding somebody else some because they think that they really do not have the the edge right now to date people and sometimes society makes them feel that it is not a normal thing this video is also for those who are always asking me, Salon, who is your girlfriend? Salon, why are you not dating? A whole doctor like you, so you mean none of the nurses at the hospital? And blah, blah, and blah, blah, and blah, blah. So, and this video is also for me, actually. I just want to talk about it and get this off my chest. The first reason I am single is the fact that I still think that there is still uh, a self discovery process that I'm going through. I'm still finding time. I'm still getting to know a lot more about myself. Every now and then, I find new things about myself and I'm like, I thought I liked this. I thought I preferred this. What changed? And that is one battle within my mind. I obviously don't want to hurt anybody if they commit to me. And then I find out that mm, I don't really, I didn't really like this like I thought I did. And it becomes, um, a struggle for both myself and the person so I believe that until I feel that I'm at an equilibrium in life in terms of my self-discovery in terms of self-identity I don't want to put myself or any other person under such stress and I think it's a valid reason that people should hear me out for and yeah the second reason for which I am single is the fact that I have job bounces at least two I can remember two at this part of my life I sometimes feel that it was a good thing that those relationships did not happen. There were situationships actually. One was a bounce, one was a situationship. And I'm thankful to God that they didn't progress into relationships. Because like I said, getting to know more about myself, I think a lot of things would have gone wrong in those relationships because I was still getting to know myself, I was still getting to know how I want my life to be. I was still getting to understand how life is and how I want my relationships to be. And at that age, I think it would have been um, a very, very wrong move that I made. So I thank all those girls who said emphatic no's and some indecisive no's for the good thing that they've done for my life. I'm glad that they are still in my life. I'm glad that at least one of them is still a very close friend. And I'm happy for all that they are doing for themselves in their lives as well. And I wish them happiness in its fullness so yes i'm single because i've made an attempt at some point in my life though that wasn't part of my plan but at that point i felt like the vibe was so great that i, I wish i could make i thought proposing to them would be a way of maintaining that vibe but i actually forgot that friendships tops it all another reason for which i'm single is the fact that i want to reach some level of financial independence before i commit myself to any relationship Yes, I've had discussions with friends who tell me, no, son, I'm getting somebody who is also uh, at your level and understand your vision and know that obviously you won't be at this point of in your life forever. And I'm like, I hear you, I get it. But as a person, I don't think that I want that kind of energy now. I want to be able to, to an extent, provide for this person. Because at this point in my, in my life, if anyone should ask me, sell on, I want to get this and I've tried so hard, I'm not getting the money and blah blah blah. 
I want to be that man who can provide, even if I cannot provide everything to an extent. I'm not ready to be in a relationship now and just be singing that, you know, God will provide, it shall be well. I don't like that kind of energy. And I know I might be hard on myself for saying this, but the truth of the matter is that is who I am and that is what I want. And so, until I feel that I have that financial independence, because even catching for myself alone cry is not easy. Even with all the family support, there are still so many things that I wish I could accomplish that I knew I could have accomplished if I had that financial independence, if I had that financial strength. And until I, I've reached that point, I don't want to stress any other woman. Because knowing myself, I know how much I would want to impress this person. Like, then I have say on the person's birthday, you take them out, you um, shower them with gifts. Like, then I have say, like, I know I don't have the money, but I know that within me, I'm somebody who would love to travel a lot. And I want to do this with my significant other. I would like to do this with the person that I, I end up dating. So until I reach that financial independence, no way. Another reason that I think I am still single is because of my vision and my goals in life. I feel that they are so big for me that um, committing to somebody might be somewhat of a distraction. I get it. Some people will come into your life and they will help you, push you to reach that goal that you want to reach. But at least the little I know about myself, I know how much I can become stagnant just because, like I said earlier, I'll, I would like to please a person. I would like to always sue the person off their feet. I would like to invest time and energy into this person. And I feel like at this point in my life, when I'm still finding my feet in life, when I'm still finding, I'm still building something for myself. I don't want that kind of energy. And until I've, I feel that, well, things are set in place right now, I can just relax, I can just do a little. Or even with the hard work, a relationship wouldn't be an, a hindrance, then of course I'll jump into it. But until then, all what you people are saying is not moving me. Another reason that sometimes scares me is the fact that I've become too comfortable with being single. And I think this is because, one, I get so much love for my family. Two, I get so much love for my friends. I have managed to put a lot of quality friendships with quite a number of people. Obviously, my friendships are with people are on different levels depending on who the person is and depending on how far I've known them and how, or how far we've gone on this friendship journey. But I think that all these people sort of cushion me to feel so comfortable in life, to feel so content in life, that I think that a significant other might not really be a plus for me at the moment. Sometimes I blame my friends for always being there for me, for always listening to my trash, for always listening to my my struggles, for always being there. Like It has become so common that it makes me feel like I don't really need any a, a third person. Sorry for calling the significant other a third person. But it makes me feel that like I don't really need a third person to navigate through life in terms of my emotional ups and downs, my joys, my sadness, my sorrows. I feel like friends and families are always there to cushion me when it comes to that. But I think that when the time is right, nobody will tell me. Now, the fact that I say I'm so happy being single, I feel like I'm in a, a better place in my life right now as a single person, it doesn't mean that I do not sometimes wish and yearn for you know, companionship, even though sometimes friends will always be there, but sometimes um, the constructs, but sometimes I feel that, um, well, main cause on share, but this is how I get through such thoughts. One, I've been able to build quality friendships, like I mentioned earlier, and so I don't feel the void, I don't feel lonely. Um, I can always pick my phone and call any of my friends, they'll be available to me. Because I think that I'm always available to them and most of my friendships are, you know, reciprocal. So, I am there for you, you are there for me and I've been blessed with some of the amazing friends in this world. The second reason is that I'm a reader, I love to read books a lot and so all the times I might sit about fantasizing about what I would have done if I had a girlfriend. I spend it to read books just to, you know, gain some knowledge, just to... I I like to, to be a deep person and I think that books 
it's one easy way to you know to to to, to gain knowledge and to yeah to gain knowledge so yes my books get me through my music get me through my obsession with you know things i'm passionate about also get me through and sometimes i think that this obsession might be taking a better part of my life and it could be the reason why i might not be looking for somebody right now because i'm so 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 into what i am doing right now for myself in my life and where I, i'm i'm seeking to reach in life than finding a girlfriend another way i i survive being single is the fact that i have an understanding that you know i attend f- weddings of friends and i think they are in that point in their life that they think that they need somebody and i see them they are so happy i don't know what happens closed doors behind closed doors but they are so happy and i'm i'm here for it but i've and come to under, i've come to understand that everybody's direction is different the fact that a friend of mine at 23 got married. A friend of mine at 25 got married. A friend of mine is getting married today, hypothetically. Doesn't mean that I should put that, that pressure on myself and also want to experience it. No. I'm happy with where I am right now. And until that, that changes, I think I'm better off like this. So stop, 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 stop. Stop coming at me when I post pictures of fine girls. I admire them and say, Oh, a girl and how you say. Stop coming at me when I post pictures of my friends getting married. You're not worried. Okay, fine. I, I can't ask you to stop. It's actually fun. So let's just continue. But I just wanted to understand that until I feel ready, until I feel that I'm ready to commit. That's all I have to say in this particular video. I hope you enjoyed it. What do you think? If you're single, tell me how you also overcome or tell me how you also uh, deal with it on a regular basis. If you're in a relationship, do you think you're happy? Do you think you, if you're in a relationship, do you miss being single? Just engage with me anyhow, anyway, anywhere. And let's get this conversation going. I'm GB Solom and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. Thanks and have a wonderful time. Bye.